Mr. Fitzgerald, how would you help Allegheny County be a leader in government sustainability? Well, I, it was one of the things I did when I proposed the 20% uh, the fossil fuel reduction that we would live within in county government. I worked with um, across, the, uh, across the street, City Council, uh, Councilman Peduto introduced a similar piece of legislation. We did it jointly as city county kind of cooperation on some of the things we do together. Um, I would continue to push for uh, things like natural gas buses. I would push for you know making sure that we can we can use some of the tax credits that come about, the utility credits that come out with uh, solar panels on some of our buildings, whether it's a community college, whether it's the jail, some of our our bigger buildings. Um, you know, we would just continue to, to, to look at how we can deal with a stormwater uh, problem that we have, uh, working with some of, the, uh, some of our partners in business, working with these Marcellus Shell companies. It's obviously a big, a big issue that we've got to deal with locally in the uh, fracking and what do they do with the water and what do they do with the, uh, the waste that they have. So there can be some opportunities to kind of uh, bring those things together and, and use economies of scale to both improve the, improve the economy and show the leadership of, of county government. Um, I, I think as a CEO, when, when, when you do this, there's a couple things you do for to continue you know, to, to, to focus on, uh, on sustainability. Thing. One is you need to sort of paint the picture for what people do, big picture, so here's what it is. And then the macro level, specific actions that make this. Uh, but we have some very pressing problems that, that you need to address with. As some of you may know, we got 90% of our drinking water comes from the rivers, and yet half of our boating season is lost because of sewage overflows. It's, a, it's really a sad situation that we have right now. Um, and we need to address those kind of you know, very critical situations right off the bat. So, that's, so what I would do is I'd prioritize, go through and prioritize the most impactful situations that need to be addressed. Take care of the, of the sewage overflow. That, you know, just think about it. 90% of our drinking water comes from pretty good on a plan that doesn't. Shell, Marcella Shell has an opportunity, but again, it comes with these risks. Let's look at this. So what? I, so the approach that I would do is to work with you know, the best experts in this, in, you know, in, in this field and put together certainly the big picture, but also the specific goals. And to me, unless it's measurable, we can't show we're making progress. So that's going to be a pretty good aspect of how we set the 